We're starting off the revenue review. We're going to talk about all these new prices and things. Um, the patch hit. <clears throat> Free patch, that is. Um, we have... Uh, it bricked everything. Yeah, it broke TSM. It broke Master Plan. It broke everything because it's all brand new. And now we get to experience it in a brand new fashion. It reset the auction house, so... A lot of the prices went uh, back to normal and not the crazy competitive prices that people drove down over the last few weeks, which is good. We always need the resets like that. I always appreciate it. Look at this cheap anvil. Seven gold? Gains. If you're getting anvils for under 30 gold, you know, it's got 30 charges. So every day you use an anvil, you're using one gold. But if you get it for seven gold, well, it's much less than one gold per day. So, I highly recommend it. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at some of these others. Hippo right is pretty low. I think at, when I did the math, I think it was between like 50 and 60 cents. If Kipper right was under 60 cents, it was... Uh, you, actually, you actually can prospect it for a game and sell it directly to vendors, not including like the rare gems that you're getting out of it. So that's pretty incredible. Um, 74 cents is good. Pallet bones, don't use them. Maybe car cards of omens, always good. If you don't want to pop them, sell them. They sell it for gold all day long. Uh, Junker, Junker's got something to say about that. He sells them at like five gold for some reason. He sells them to, like, the people that are down bad on gambling. <laughs> gambling addicts, man. Um, so, I guess some people buy them over 450 which makes no sense because they average to 465 ish or 70 I think mine are sitting at, like, four... What is it? This is my card flipping. Mine are sitting at 477 after... Just under a million flipped? Ah, oh, just under a million? I'm gonna get my card number back up to a million on this after it got wiped. Very nice. So anyways, if you're selling them for five gold, ridiculous. Do it. Those are pretty cheap. 150, 146 for Spirit of Harmony is pretty good. You don't need very many. I ended up with a lot. <laughs> I went heavy. I'm like, I got space to level things up and get a million, you know, items that I don't use all the time. I'm gonna do it. Uh, Living Steel hovers around 550. Used to be a thousand on my server. Sky Golems. Picking a hit. Looks like I haven't stocked back up on that, so. I guess I could do that right now while I'm talking. If this add-on even worked, I guess I'm not going to do that. So, anyways, so that's it for uh, the mounts and stuff. It kind of bounced back just because of the market um, correction due to the patch, bringing down the servers for a whole day. Um, bounce back the prices. Let's take a look at some of these items here. We got Panther sales coming back. Panther sales are back? That's real good. Because Panther sales used to be a really good seller. Uh, we got the usual suspects. We got uh, stuff from the mission table, mission table, mission table. This is all profit, right? 2.8k is pretty good. Mechaneer's chopper. Costs like 12k to make that. No profit of 15 these rockets cost like 65k, I think, 68k, something like that. Uh, still making 5k plus profit on those. Those prices used to be, sometimes they're over 100k. Those are good sales. You're making a lot more profit on those big ones, obviously. Sales for more, they cost the same amount, you get more profit. It's not complicated, right? You Joker caches, free. Free. They come from the mission table. You gotta do it. Follow the sands. You gotta do it. It's not fun. You gotta grind it. 
I know some people that get super lucky. I got super lucky. I know someone else got even luckier than I did. So, uh, follow the sands. Get it, craft it, put it up in the auction house. Sky golems. Everybody's been asking, are sky golems going to not sell anymore? They're going to sell. There's always going to be collectors that want the sky golems. Also, it's a cool mount. Panthers, bring back those panthers. I like it. These jewel crafting pets. I think they cost like... How much? 600 gold to craft. I'm selling them for double that, triple that. Bunch of gains there. Pretty good. 288,000 over a week uh, is bad, real bad. The fact that everything was broken and I wasn't playing for four or five of those days means 288 is good. Um, probably about two days worth I was on the auction house. Two days, 150 per day. I'll take it. Let's check out the other sales guy. The other sales guy's gonna be even more busted. Don't have your hopes up. <laughs> jumping over I haven't been doing a lot of these enchantment crafts these enchantment crafts just took the biggest digger the biggest digger this guy. 1,500. Whoa! Everybody stop the presses. This guy, might, this guy might not even get reviewed. <laughs> I shouldn't even have taken the time to log into this guy for this. Let's see what we sold. I think it's like one item too. It's a pet or something. It's a pet. It's a toy. It's a toy. It's a toy. Didn't sell any enchantment tomes. Just one toy for the week. Yeah, my face with your 1500, but I'll take it. <laughs> of course I'll take it, right? <laughs> Not gonna delete it. Anyways, that's the revenue review. It's pretty brutal. Uh, but it's also coming back. So as more players are coming back, those mount sales are picking up and we're seeing a better profit in those. So keep, uh, keep doing them. Keep grinding for them and keep selling them. They've been there forever, so keep collecting those gains. You know. Don't leave it on the table. Get those gains, it's just a do gaming. 